You won't find any information online that covers the genetics of the Kurdish people in depth, because there are no in-depth studies that have been done yet. When attempting to determine the genetic origins of the Kurds, most geneticists tend to just lump them into the same category as other Iranics, or specifically Western Iranics. The Kurdish national idea and national hymn claims that the Kurds are the descendants of the Medes and of K. Khosro. This tenet got popularized by the Kurdish poet Dildar, who was the author of Eiragib, the Kurdish national hymn, who was imprisoned by Reza Shah's government, hence the enemy, and hence the context of the anthem, of the, of the hymn, sorry. I wouldn't describe them, however, to one particular ancient people like what the Barzani family has been doing. They're an amalgamation of different people depending on where they're from. They could be Hurrians, they could be Urartians, or Gutians and Kassites, both of which were offshoots of the Elamite civilization. I would have more Median ancestry than Kurds from Syria or Turkey, for example. But there were many migrations <laughs> and let's call them migrations into the Kurdistan, the modern Kurdistan regions before the arrival of the Medes. You had the Hittites who arrived. You had the Hurrians and the Mitanni people who arrived. You had the Elamites. The list goes on. But we're going to analyze this matter right now. And I'm going to keep my assessments short and sweet and just tell you what's important to know. If it seems a bit rushed, that's why. It's just the essentials. No filler or rambling. So there were no Iranics in the Near East or West Asia to a significant capacity up until 612 BCE with the sack of Nineveh. The Median victory in that battle against the Assyrians kickstarted the rise of the Iranic people in the Iranian plateau and in Mesopotamia and elsewhere and the demise of Semitic civilizations up until the Islamic conquests. Prior to the emergence of the Medes, the Iranic tribes began migrating into the Iranian plateau around the 12th and 11th century BCE, and the Median tribes established themselves in northwestern Iran. The Medes were the first Iranic people to establish a significant presence in West Asia before the Persians. And call it an empire... What You can call the Median state and empire, you can call it a collection of loose tribal lords who swore loyalty to the aristocracy who ruled the state, but it was established in 678 by K BC by King uh, Diosis. He was the first official Shah of Iran who ruled from the capital of Ekbatan, which is now an archaeological site in the city of Hamadan in Iran. It was an empire, it was an empire, because Herodotus wrote that Diosis absorbed all the tribes there into, all the tribes of his, like, domains into one nation, including the Magi, or as the Arabs, religious Arabs would call them, the Majusi, who would become the dominant Zoroastrian priesthood in the Persian, Achaemenid, and Sassanid empires. The people living there before them where the Gutians and the Kassites and the Elamites, they were all basically native cultures, and they were all absorbed into the Median Kingdom. In Anatolia, of course, you had the Urartians, and also like uh, the Lydians, too. What is most likely is that the Kurds are an amalgamation of the different natives of the region, but mainly the descendants of the Hurrians, but they became Iranicized after the Median invasion of West Asia. But not even by the time the Medes arrived, because before the Median invasion of Western Asia, there had already been an Indo-Aryan-like. There had already been Indo-Aryan-like inhabitants that had colonized parts of the Fertile Crescent and established and elsewhere in Western Asia, and established their presence in the region. And those Indo-Aryan-like populations were the Mitanni and the Hurian people, who spoke the same language as the Hurians. 
the Mitanni spoke the same language as the Hurrians, I mean. The Hurrians had become dominated and absorbed by these Indo-Aryan warriors, the Mitanni, and they settled in a mostly Semitic region. There was an Iron Age Iranian population found, I mean like a pre-Iran Iranian population found, that clustered with the Kurds of today. They came from a study from this guy called Brusheski, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, from 2016. From It was Brusheski et al. from 2016. And the site that the studies got samples from was from Neolithic Iranians, Anatolians, and Europeans, with one Iron Age population. And this site in particular was the Tepe Hasanlu site, which is really close to the Iranian Kurdistan. And this was a Hurrian site, interestingly enough. The study discovered that 90 to 95 percent of the Kurdish ancestral similarity can be modeled after these people, not just the Kurdish uh, ancestral similarity, but the other people of the other like modern day Western Iranian populations as well. They can be modeled after these people, except that um, the Medes brought more steppe admixture from Central Asia since the Hurrians were wiped out. So that means that there is a great deal of continuity between the Hurrians and uh, Northwestern Iranics, but, especially, but, but including the Kurds. Another Iron Age uh, Iranian sample was from the Sehgabi site, Seh, Sehgabi site between um, northwestern and western Iran. Five samples were found there that showed a mixture of Neolithic Iranian farmers and Neolithic Anatolian farmers. There was no Aryan admixture. So the people here derive most of their ancestry from the native population that lived here before the arrival of the Indo-Europeans. Uh, or Indo-Iranians in, in that region. There's no doubt that the same is the case for the Anatolian, Mesopotamian, and Syrian Kurds. Their ancestry is mostly native as well. well they have, like, minority, like, a Median or some other type of, like, Iranic or Aryan ancestry. But they still are Aryans, don't get me... They still are Iranics, don't get me wrong. Because that's the culture... That they're practicing now and the language they speak is Iranic. The Iranian Kurds are mainly the descendants of the Medes and the Gutians and Kassites. The same is probably the case for Iraq's Kurds. The Anatolian Kurds are mainly the descendants of the Urartians and the Medes. The Syrian Kurds are probably mainly the descendants of the Hurrians and the Mitanni people with minor Median ancestry. As you can see here, the Kurds, Lors, and Persians are more dominated by the J2 haplogroup, which originates from the Zagrosian agricultural farmers. But Eastern Iranics, like the Tajiks, Pashtuns, and Pamiris, are more dominated by the R1A haplogroup uh, that you find in uh, Slavs and Baltic Europeans as well. The R1A haplogroup originates from Eastern Europe. This is because the East Iranics have more Indo-European ancestry that derives from the Cord and Ware-related people from Eastern Europe, from the Baltic region, to be exact who migrated to Central Asia and formed like the BMAC horizon culture and people, and then went to modern day Iran, Afghanistan, and India. Whereas Kurds have more native farmer ancestry. By the time the Medes arrived, the Hurrians and the Mitanni people had been gone from the region for centuries, since like 1300 BC, I believe, is when the kingdom fell fell apart for good. And the Medes uh, mixed with the local Gutians and Kassites on impact. In Anatolia, they mixed with the Urartians and the other people, what was left of the Urartians and the other natives there on impact, as well as what was left of the Hurrian and Mitanni populations. 
Although the area and admixture in most Western Iran is slight and no more than between 15% to 25%, amongst the Tajiks, Pashtuns, and Northern High Caste Indians, it would be around 25 to 40%. The spread of the Iranians into West Asia was the spread of a culture and the spread of a language group, nothing else. The genetic profile of the conquered populations has remained stable for the most part, and swear I end my assertion. Thank you for watching.